You want to become your own Google? I'm going to tell you how to self-host everything and what I use to self-host. I know you want to self-host everything because you watched my other video. I'm going to tell you how I self-host everything and then in a future video I'll also show you how I actually set it all up. So first of all, I use virtual machines for a lot of things. What is a virtual machine? A virtual machine is a machine that is virtual. It is like a computer inside a computer. You can have many computers inside one computer. You need software to do this. This software is called a hypervisor. What hypervisor do I use? You've probably heard of VirtualBox before. That's a very common one, and it's, it's probably one of the only decent software that Oracle makes. Uh, and it's open source, but what I use the KVM, the kernel virtual machine. It's built into the Linux kernel. To install it, all you need to do is look up libvirt and KVM. Tons of guides there. To connect to it, there's lots of interfaces that you can choose from. There's actually loads. You can use like web-based ones or ones for your desktop. I use one for my desktop. This is it here. This is called uh, Virt Manager, Virt Hyphen Manager, Virtual Machine Manager. There, there it is. Uh, and this is connected remotely, uh, so you can actually, with it, you can connect to hypervisors remotely over SSH. That's what I've done here. I have connected to this 169 over SSH. Okay, very cool. What does this mean? This means that I can now, if I want to, create a new virtual machine on here. I've already made a few, two running at the moment. So I run Plex and my backups off this. You know, I can double click this and it opens. I can connect to a console, which it is doing. I could also SSH into this server if I wanted, but I'm showing off the console because the console is interesting. Okay, it's working. I pressed enter too many times. So we log in as root because we're bad. Um, CentOS 7, last login Sunday, Jan the 30th. You see this, it all just, all just works perfectly. Uh, and then if I show you something interesting here, this, I have some storage plugged into my hypervisor, okay? So this is basically a, a NAS. I have a NAS plugged in and I have mounted my NAS, eight terabyte NAS, running in RAID uh, one, so it's 16 terabytes mirrored. I've just configured it all, so it, this, this is where I put all my backups, okay? These things get out of my network because I use port forwarding on my just standard customer provided route. New infrastructure I create, I put on here, but I've got lots of other infrastructure as well. So I have, so I have this server here, mark.minali.j, this hosts all my websites. Uh, it hosts them using Apache and it's hosted and it's an OVH vir virtual private server, or VM basically. I'm basically paying for a virtual machine. It's not too powerful, it doesn't have much storage, it's got like 40 gig total I'm running out. I'll show you HTOP here, it's not very powerful, but you actually don't need much power at all to run websites, okay? You need basically none. And that's what this does, if, especially if they're static sites. But there's only lots of server side stuff, which some of mine are, to be honest. You still don't even need that much. That's one of my servers, and my other server is, is this one here, Kim Sufi. This, these basically, a lot of people will use them for seed boxes, which I don't like. A seed box is basically like a way you can torrent things outside your network so you don't get in trouble from law enforcement. But I don't torrent things, I'm a good boy. But Kim Super boxes are very cheap. I think this is like £9 a month, uh, but I get two terabytes of storage from it. So I put my cloud on this. So I say the storage on here, 1.8 terabytes. But these servers are hard to get, okay, because lots of people want them. So I actually, when I bought this originally, I had a bot that would scan to see whenever they were free. I think there's lots online, and it would be basically like, there's a Kim Sufi box available, go buy it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it. So I bought it. What else do I use? What else is my own infrastructure? VM, same thing on my local machine for local development. Uh, and I, I, I used to use PFSense for my firewall. If I had a bigger infrastructure, I'd use Proxmox. Proxmox is a software that is built on top of KVM. It's like KVM, but it makes all the storage nice to manage, and it gives you a nice web interface. It, it looks like the VMware or, or Zen, like a big, big, Proper hypervisor. That's cool software too. Also I like to use LXC containers, which I'm gonna look more into in the future. So that's, that's how I self-host my own infrastructure. Subscribe and I'll give you a free virtual machine.